Hi, so today in this video, we will be doing Magma deployment using MCOP and managing uh, both uh, orchestrator and access gateway remotely with the help of MCOP. So as a deployment strategy, we look forward to use uh, MCOP and Magma controller placed centrally in some sort of uh, cloud provider, GK, AWS or Azure. Whereas uh, the sites at edge would be running Magma Access Gateway, which essentially would be managed by MCOP itself, along with some of the other cloud native applications uh, running locally at those uh, edge interfaces. Where MCOP would be responsible for uh, managing the deployment itself using Kubernetes API, uh, deploying Magma controller on the local cluster itself, and uh, uh, Magma access gateway on the remote cluster, interfacing with the Magma controller using REST interface, using which we would be uh, triggering the registration request for access gateways that has been deployed using MCOP. And another interface uh, potentially we can have with the, the Magma access gateway to fetch the hardware ID and challenge key, unless uh, uh, it starts providing a mechanism where we can pre-program hardware ID and challenge key as part of the deployment itself. So from a registration prospect uh, and the required configuration, we assume uh, Magma controller is already deployed with the relevant uh, certificate and uh, CBA has been created, providing the admin key for uh, certain key for operator. Um, then uh, followed by an access gateway wordlet is provisioned with the uh, uh, required config and certs as part of uh, day zero configuration. Uh, hardware ID and challenge key can be fetched uh, as once the deployment is uh, done, which results in triggering the CBA, doing config assign and config deploy, further merging the config templates and uh, parameters forming the relevant uh, AGW registration request, which is further sent to Magma controller over the REST interface to essentially program the access gateway in the controller. After which the access gateway can check in into Magma controller and initiate the bootstrap process. Now, since this is still work in progress, so we will be showcasing uh, today the deployment part only where uh, we will be deploying the Magma controller and access gateway with uh, the day zero configuration. And the portion of uh, automation of uh, AGW registration uh, is not yet available. So we would be triggering that manually. So switching to uh, MCOP UI. So we have uh, two clusters. One is the host cluster and other is uh, 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 KUD cluster, which we will be using as a remote uh, equivalent for uh, deploying access gateway. And we will begin with creating the services and deploy the access gateway. So first of all, we will need SQL uh, based uh, databases that so that are consumed by uh, orchestrator and orchestrator UI. So to simplify our uh, uh, deployment uh, following the guide documented by uh, Magma community, we would be using two separate databases, SQL, uh, MySQL and uh, Postgres SQL. followed by creating a service for Magma controller, which will include Helm charts for orchestrator. And override profile that would be including the relevant information of certs that we will be using for this deployment. and all other overrides we want to potentially do. 
then we will include lte extension on our orchestrator that we are going to use for this demonstration and create all the three relevant services followed by we would be spawning instances of these services starting with sql so this is going to be on the host cluster so let's create the instances before instantiating them followed by instance for magma so which is also going to be on the host cluster okay so all the service instances are created and uh, if we switch to the uh, cluster currently we do not have any pods so we'll start creating the databases first so both the sql and postgres uh sql are being created so let's instantiate uh, magma which is instantiated and we see the corresponding pods are uh, being created so with all the pods running now uh, we should have access to the nms ui so this is the domain that we chose so i'm logging to the master instance of this one so this uh, helm chart by default creates the user um, as part of the deployment so this is where uh, uh, so we'll continue using master instance and i'll just enable nms access So if you see, we do not have any network configured. So we are starting with the uh, blank slate. So we'll add a network first, network underscore one. And uh, we are going to be using network type LTE. and however do not have any access gateway yet so uh, we'll begin with the access gateway creation as so this is where uh, we will upload the helm chart for hw wordlet along with the override profile and now we'll create the instance for this access gate so this is going to be deployed on the kud cluster emulating edge and uh, access gateway requires a dual interface uh, one towards uh, internet where it will be connecting to the magma orchestrator and second uh, as a provider network uh, providing connectivity to e, e node b so we have access gateway instantiated so on the kud cluster
we see the wordlet has been started so we'll wait for access gateway to come up so we can uh, fetch the uh, hardware id and challenge key to register it against uh, against the orchestrator So in couple of minutes, uh, WordCat will be up and running. So this is where uh, we will fetch the hardware ID and challenge key from So uh, let's call it Wordlet gateway, gateway one, hardware ID version, it will auto pick. And uh, the challenge key. So we have the gateway created. So now, uh, usually you would have uh, proceeded with configuring the access gateway. So we don't have to do that uh, because the configuration and the root CA certificates are loaded up front. So all we are going to do to uh, monitor is uh, whether the status of uh, magma uh, check-in goes through fine. So we see that it has already bootstrapped uh, successfully. And shortly the check-in should also go through fine. Yeah. So the check-in is also successful. And if you see the health is uh, good, last check-in has already been done. Right. And that concludes the demo. Thank you.